Hey everybody, good to see you today. Welcome to Beetle Brad's channel. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it very much. Today, as you can see in my thumbnail, we're talking about Yellow Submarine, a 50th anniversary of the Beatles, Yellow Submarine, and it's a picture disc. So, to kind of go with that Yellow Submarine picture disc, I thought I'd show all the rest of my other picture discs as well. So for fun, sit back and enjoy, and I'm going to talk about my Beatles picture discs for this segment of Beetle Brad's channel. All right, well, I hope everybody's doing well, and I'm starting off with this one, which is my Beatles still in the original plastic. It's still here. I've got the uh, original hype sticker and here's the uh, original i mean the, the plastic is still on i just put these in plastic to protect it a little bit better but this is my original beatles sergeant pepper picture disc and this kind of started it off for me in collecting picture discs which were kind of fun and exciting to get were the original picture discs and this came out like in the late 70s i think something like that this this may have come out but this is kind of really cool. I uh, really am glad to get this picture disc. This is an original. I remember getting this. And what? Oh, the picture's not in there. You're right. You're right. So for those of you that are paying attention, <laughs> you're right. I don't have it in there. I was just trying to go along to see how far you guys would see that. Uh, my brother got this for me back in the early days, and it was really cool to have it. And I was so excited to get that, that I went ahead and got it framed. So as you can see, I got it in, you know, double pane glass. And this is the back of it. Really pretty cool. Really pretty neat. And so I got this framed because it was such a big deal. Back then, picture discs were horrible. <laughs> you like the segment so far? Isn't it great? Picture discs were horrible. They really, really were. They, they were not, you don't buy them for sound quality. You didn't buy them because they were just absolutely the greatest thing you ever wanted. Um, picture discs, let me set this down just a little bit. Sorry about that. I <laughs> messed you up. I was off a little bit, just did the frame there, and I kind of wanted to, kind of wanted to bring it into frame a little better. Sorry. As I was saying, back to our show, picture discs weren't that good a quality. Uh, you basically bought them for the picture and the rarity of what they were. And the rarity kind of continued when this was put out. And this was kind of a surprise that Pete Best put out a picture disc. Uh, and this is really cool. This has the songs that are listed here of what's, what's on the disc. I thought there was some more on there, but I don't think that's... And it's a gatefold. It's got some great pictures of Pete Best and his band, <laughs> the Beatles. Uh, let's pull this out, give you, show you the picture disc itself. But look at that. Isn't that cool? I really like that. That's just neat. And then the back is the exact same picture. But it's still really neat. Um, the sound quality of this is, is not terrific it's it's okay uh this basically is during the deca sessions of the beatles a lot of this has already been released so if you're looking for that uh i'd look for on a, on a better album the anthology had a lot of it so a lot of that's already been released but it's still kind of cool just to have it and this is the second disc that came along with it and as you can see, it's kind of the same picture on both sides as the first disc kind of had it. And then kind of a really cool thing that they did was, and this is right up Beetle Brad's Alley for those of you who watch my channel. They put this one out in white. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. <laughs> But isn't that cool? So I thought that was kind of neat. But like I said, a lot of this is already found on the anthology and different bootlegs that have been put out. Uh, it's basically nothing really exciting. It's just kind of fun to have the picture disc. And then this is a picture disc that's relatively new. 
Um, I still have it in the plastic, but I keep all of my records in these kind of plastic as well, just to keep it protected. But I didn't open this because I've already got all of this on album as well. But this is a really cool looking picture disc. Um, let me give you the song listings of what's on this. But this is really pretty neat. Let's see if we can get that blue to show up a little better. But see, the, the, the blue is just, it just pops out of there. It's really beautiful. But I haven't opened it, like I said. Eh, probably won't. <laughs> we don't have any intentions of opening it. Uh, next up is a quite a rare picture disc. And it is the, the picture of the controversial uh, Butcher cover album. But this was taken from the Beatles album Casualties. Uh, which is kind of, well, not Casualties. Uh, Casualties is the bootleg version. See, I'm back in bootleg terms thinking. Um, Rarities. So when, when they released this album Rarities, this is the uh, capital Rarities so this is this is the picture disc of it. Um, this came out several years after um, the Rarities album came out. Lost my train of thought. This is good. It's not fantastic quality. It's it's very nice. Um, it's just kind of really a cool one to have. Uh, and then the next one is this one. And since we're getting ready for the White album, there's this one. There's Paul. There's John, and these are quite rare, but there's the picture disc. So on this side, there's John, really cool. See that there? And on this side is Paul. So you getting that all right? Nice picture of Paul, Paul McCartney. And these are for the White Album, like I said. This is George. And there's Ringo. Hey, Ringo Starr. And there's nothing different about these at all. See, when I got these, I thought, oh, cool. You know, the the, the these are really, really cool. But yeah, see, there's Ringo. I thought I'd go differently. And there's George. This is basically just the White Album on picture disc. It's not anything... I, I was kind of hoping it'd be outtakes and bootleg... Uh, you know, different copies and stuff like that. And it's not that at all. It's just uh, basically the White Album on picture disc. So I was kind of hoping it'd be something else. This was an older one that I got years ago. Um, I've moved several times, and this album has traveled with me throughout all kinds of cities and towns. Uh, there's the listing here. And there's the listing there of the songs that are on it. As you can kind of see the bottom, it got pretty messed up just in by moving. You know, you end up moving different places, different things. Things get wrecked, and you really try not to get them wrecked. Uh, the interesting thing on this album is uh, the back of it has a uh, interview. Well, not an interview, but a clip where it's backwards, and you've got to play it on your turntable, play it backwards. And it says, uh, we'll miss you, John. That's kind of a little, little different added to it. Then this is a uh, numbered edition. This is a picture disc uh, interview. Very good one, actually. This is quite nice. I enjoy this. This is quite quite great interview. Fantastic picture of the, of the lads performing there. And then this is the new edition that came out last year. This is still sealed, but this is the Sgt. Pepper which was really pretty cool uh, when this came out on Picture Desk. As you can see, I have not opened this one either. Um, still have my price tag on it. Still have it. I just, I just don't think I'll open it. I've got so many copies of Sgt. Pepper that I couldn't imagine this being any better uh, than some of the young 180 gram or some of the brand new one that just, just came out that was remixed by uh, George Martin's son, Giles. I can't imagine it being any better quality. So I just kind of left it sealed. It's kind of just kind of fun. And then there's a different series that came out. And I highly recommend these. These are really good. These are, these are great. Uh, this is also a very nice picture disc. And it has 
uh, hopefully you can get that. It's got some very, very rare songs on there. Very, very rare. Um, take one, take two, take 14. Um, so this is quite nice. And there's a couple of these in that series. I just haven't gotten them. It's one of those where, you know, the budget only allows so much every month. And you kind of get what you get when you can get it. <laughs> so, um, so I get I get it when I can, when I can find them. And I'd like to find the rest of them. It's just a matter of time and when I can do it and where I find them. Excuse me. Then we kind of go into picture disc CDs. These really, I don't know, they really, they really don't call these, they, they do on online, they do call these picture disc CDs. So that's kind of why I'm showing them. You're kind of like, you know, Beetle Brad, why are you showing this? But it's, it never had a cover on the front. It just had this, which is the disc itself. Um, and that's pretty neat. Pretty pretty interesting. And then this one's really, I think, pretty cool. This is a Paul McCartney one interview. And the CD itself... The CD itself looks like that. So it's kind of neat. You know, it's like, hey, I'm Paul. <laughs> got, I got a finger in me nose. Uh, they made four of these. They made, of course, a George and John and a uh, Ringo, and this one's Paul. Uh, back to, I just haven't gotten the, the rest of them. Uh, just, just haven't. Uh, maybe someday I will. Just uh, kind of pursuing other albums instead. But this is another one that didn't have a cover. Just so you can see it. And then there's this one, which is, I like this one. This is kind of cool, Beatles Interview. And the cool thing about this is, it's really kind of neat how this this is kind of done. Kind of like a hologram kind of thing. And it's on, hopefully you're getting all that. And it's on both sides. So see, you got it on that side as well. So isn't that cool? Um, yeah, I really like that. It's, it's not a pricey CD. It's not a hard CD to find. I just, I just liked it and they kind of put it in that picture disc category. So yeah, so that's just kind of fun, kind of neat. It's, it's, the interview is okay. It's not really extremely rare or anything, but it's kind of neat to have. Uh, next up is a series that they did of Beetle 45 picture discs. So this is the picture disc for this one. Beatles Please Please Me, really cool. And I've had these for years. And so I, I pick these up whenever I can. And I was just recently out with another uh, friend and um, picked these up at the store, which is kind of surprising. I got this one. It's still in the original shrink wrap. Still has, still has the original shrink. I need to, that's really cool. Here's the other one. Um, yeah, I'll show you the uh, the record store. I've got an exclusive record store coming up, and that's really kind of cool with a very good friend that all of you know, and it's a surprise on who it is. But you probably know who he is. Once you start to see the video, you'll know. Make sure I get that right. But it's really cool, really great. Still have my price tag originally when I got this. But, and then we end up with the brand new one, the Beatles Yellow Submarine picture disc. And I have not opened this because I just got it. Not sure if I'm going to open it or not. And it's from Russia, this pressing. And you can see it's 17 the price of it. And the, the, the uh, disc itself is this picture on side two. And there's the two songs, but the uh, picture itself is, you know, like I said, the Yellow Submarine's this side, and then this is the side too. So if you're out and about and you want to get something, this is for the uh, 50th anniversary. I hope you go see the Yellow Submarine in your theater. Uh, hopefully where you live in your town, uh, you can do that and go see Yellow Submarine. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff coming out from Yellow Submarine. There's going to be coloring books. There's going to be 
uh, hope I think a book and a, a, a course the movie itself which has been redigitalized and recolored and eventually that'll probably be released on DVD as well but Beetle Brad is having to travel out of his town to go see this movie so I'm also going to be doing that with an exclusive hopefully talking to you about the movie and all that kind of stuff as well but for now this is kind of just a little opening of my picture discs and I hope you enjoyed it I want to say hello to my new subscribers I knew I've seen some of you guys that are new and I thank you very very much for subscribing to my channel and for those of you that have been with me for a long time, I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys are like family. You really are. Everybody that I talk to and subscribe to, I subscribe to channels too, just like you do. Um, but those of you that, that follow me and I type and talk to you back and forth, you guys are like family. And I really enjoy hearing your stories. I enjoy hearing your Beatles stories and just to, just daily things that are going on but I just wanted you to know I appreciate each and every one of you and you're really a true true blessing and for those of you that are watching me for the first time subscribe to my channel down below let me know what you thought of this segment of Beatles picture discs in the brand new yellow submarine have you gotten your copy of the brand new yellow submarine disc yet you need to get one it's really pretty cool yellow submarine plus mine's really rare the sticker's upside down. <laughs> so, but yeah, there it is. Yellow submarine. Pretty darn cool, huh? All right. Well, I want to say to everybody, thank you very, very much for watching. I appreciate you guys. And as I say on my channel, I am out of here. Take care, everybody. See ya.